Hi, my name is Dodas Butkus, and in this episode of What to Hodl, I want to do a quick video about COS. So, I got a link to a COS fee share calculator where you can enter the amount of COS that you have and calculate how much uh, in tokens are you going to generate every single week. So, if we do a quick calculation, and we enter 100 tokens, we can see the current price of cost token, which has dropped significantly lately. Uh, right now it is $1.63. And we can calculate that daily we are getting nearly a cent, and weekly we are getting almost 7 cents, and monthly 30 cents, which amounts to 2% in interest per year if we calculate it like that which is quite low it's not a huge percentage even if we calculate that the tokens that we get are also going to grow in value it's still not going to amount to uh, a big percentage compared to other uh, passive investments that you could do in in the niche of cryptocurrencies so yeah this is that you can also do some prediction calculations so right now cost is doing around 5 million in daily trading volume from which the trading fees are calculated and uh, the fee split allocation gets its value so in my my prediction would be for the year of 2018 that uh, we are going to have a daily daily trading volume from 50 to 100 million. I think it's definitely doable. Uh, I will go into the volume, into the current volume a bit more in a second. And with 50 million daily, with the current price of the token, and being $1.63, uh, it would grow the yearly interest to around 30%, which would be quite decent, and that would mean uh, there would be probably people buying the cost tokens and driving the price up, and uh, the percentage would go down. Uh, but with the current valuations, um, of around 50, 50 million per day, uh, it, the percentage is still low, and I would predict the price can still go a little bit down because it was overhyped right now. So, and if we look at 100 million in daily volume, it would amount to around 24% and three dollars per month uh, from 100 cost tokens so you can play with these uh, as you want uh, i will leave the link in the description uh, now what has happened with costs so if you look at the charts the price basically what it took from january 1st it was at 26 cents, which was basically the all-time high for that moment when it started uh, after the ICO it quickly went up to 24, 26 cents and then it ha has reached the all-time high and it broke through and it went to two dollars and almost even three dollars. So from 26 to almost three dollars that's almost I think 15 times growth uh, within two weeks so a correction was definitely needed um, if we check the calculations uh, with the real volume and the interest rate is not high uh, so it was definitely overvalued uh, its cost still needs to do uh, a lot of growing uh, to sustain such a token value. 
so yeah it was at around three dollars and i think it will stay around here uh, so the growth of the cost token i think was twofold uh, the first one was the overall market was very bullish on all the altcoins and this meant uh, that cost was picked up as well and it went up the next thing was the news about an update to the cost trading engine which was updated yesterday and the basic strategy that a lot of traders use is buy the rumors sell the news so they bring the price up and after the news uh, they sell out and wait for a different different news cycle or whatever formation they are looking for but usually after uh, the news and uh, the price goes down so the news was about the new trading engine if you are familiar with costs you know how it looked like before which was quite bad overly simplistic and right now we have this kind of design which is quite neat it looks professional but there are still some bugs with these charts uh, they aren't very responsive if you change it to one minute it's very slow they are having issues uh, as with most of the exchanges right now with slow servers of overload of visitors uh, because uh, it's quite strange that they show the charts even to people that are not logged in so that's extra load on the server so there's also day view which i like a little bit more here you have all the markets they also launched four new tokens uh, on cost during the day of upgrading to this new trading engine so it was quite good good news but as with everything usually it happens that the price gets overhyped overbought and there needs to be some steam to to cool down so this is what's happening and if we look at the trading volume it has dropped now significantly i think it's due to uh, some delays with the ethereum network and there were problems with the ethereum deposits to cost so obviously that means less volume on the exchange uh, at the peak i think it was around 10 million or even more volume which is quite decent right now it has dropped also what you should keep in mind uh, which i keep in mind every single time i look at the trading volume of costs for the whole exchange is how much of it comes from its own token so if we calculate it's basically 4 million so only 800,000 comes from other tokens also keep in mind that other people are sending in like ethereum litecoin maybe even bitcoin uh, to the exchange to then exchange it for cost tokens so most of the volume right now for cost is still based on its own token which is not very good uh, and you won't have an exchange based on just a single token so a huge winner for them was datum which they launched their ico uh, using the cost network and they have huge trading promos i think fidentiax i'm not too sure about it but I think it was also one of these uh, bigger winners of cost. As you can see, they have pretty decent volume. Probably they added this token, one of the first ones. Do are they on any other exchanges? Yeah. So the if it goes well for this token, 
cause will be winning as well. So right now, uh, cause can do very well with these smaller tokens by adding them first and driving the volume up. So yeah, another winner that has uh, picking up the volume that which was added yesterday is West. Uh, and they also have a trading promo where you can basically win extra tokens for just trading. So all these promos uh, will definitely help drive the prices up. So I'm very optimistic about costs. Probably a lot of people are quite sad seeing the token drop 35%, but well, I am invested in costs for the long term, started uh, from here basically, and now here we are at around $2 per token. And yeah, my prediction is around 50 to 100 million in trading volume at the end of 2018, which I think should be doable. Uh, their plan after launching this trading engine is to start doing marketing to attract more customers. They are also planning to adding fiat to the exchange, which would be very, very massive. So this is it for this video. If you have any questions about costs, if I have the knowledge, I will answer you. So leave them in the comments below. And this is it. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.